welcome to my channel. I have had some new subscribers, so I just wanted to quickly say hi. My name is Laura, and this is Diamond Paintings by Laura, <laughs> where I go into um, just all things diamond painting. I like to do unboxings and post reviews and kind of different... I'm starting to get into different types of tip videos. Hopefully you find them helpful. Um, today's video is actually something that I have struggled with for such a long time and I finally very recently figured it out. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how to section a diamond painting using washi tape. For the longest time I have been a release paper only like I, I just always used release papers. <laughs> I would see people using washi tape to section off their kits and I always thought it was so pretty and I would try it and I just couldn't, I it just wasn't clicking in my brain. And that's nothing against the people who have made the videos, it just wasn't working for me. I was cutting it wrong and then I would end up with like where the strip of washi tape is that wouldn't have any diamonds and it just, my brain wasn't calculating correctly. <laughs> So I thought I'm prepping my next canvas, which is um, Take Care from Oraloa. It's this, oops, this woman holding a cat and it's super cute and I love it. I unboxed this uh, in November, I think. So I decided because Oraloa uses such a thick plastic cover, like this cover is it's very very thick. I thought this would be a good option for the washi tape method. So I did go around and covered my edges in washi tape which I do for every kit. I have two cats here. I have long hair that's always falling out. Um, so any exposed adhesive just gets it just things collect on it. It happens. Um, so I did that just because this canvas is kind of large, so it's a little bit cumbersome to show you the whole thing. Um, but I am going to show you how I measured and decided on my section sizes and how I do the washi. So this washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. If you've been around for any amount of time, you will know that that is my favorite place to buy washi tape. Um, I will leave all of her links down below. I also have a measuring tape and I have a sharp knife. So this canvas is 85 by 56 centimeters. So what I did is I measured this across. This is almost 56 centimeters and I measured vertically as well, which is just about 85. And I kind of looked at this and I was like, okay, what seems like a manageable size that I could get done in a sitting? So I decided to do the horizontal size, the horizontal line in four sections, which would make them 14 centimeters uh, wide. And the vertical measurement is five sections in roughly 16.5 centimeter sections. So it's not a perfect measurement. My sections as I get towards the top will be just a little bit different, um, but it's just how I decided to do it. Also, you don't have to measure. You could totally eyeball, but I'm a little, I'm a little extra <laughs> and I like things to be even and the same size. So I measured, you don't have to. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure out my line of washi for the 16.5 centimeter section. So I'm going to measure up. I'm actually going to pull you guys down just a little bit so that you can hopefully see. So 16.5 centimeters is right there. I love when the measurement falls on like a unique symbol because then I'm like, okay, that's where I need to put the washi. So I'm going to overlap a little bit onto the plastic. And I'm just going to try to keep this straight as I go across the canvas. I really hope my head isn't in the frame. And if it is, I apologize. 
Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I think like I'm a little extra for measuring. I know not everybody does, but it helped me figure out this method because <laughs> I was struggling. All right, so I have my washi across. Now I'm going to do my section measurements this way. So I decided on 14 centimeters which is right there. Again, another unique symbol, lucky me. I love when it works out like that. And I'm just gonna lay the washi tape. <clears throat> like that. And cut the washi tape and I'm actually going to do it all the way across. I know some people will only measure like um, one and then they'll just do it from there but I'm going to do this whole row just to kind of explain something that I found very confusing when I first started. Um, when I first started trying to figure out the washi tape method. So when I would try to do it I would measure from the outside of the washi tape. Now, I'm sure that that's right in some instances, but I was cutting, so I would cut this section and I would flip it up. And then I will have started measuring here, so I would cut on this side of the washi and that would leave this whole row without diamonds. <laughs> I would be like, what am I doing wrong? I don't know why, it just wouldn't click in my brain. So, I'm going to measure from the inside of the washi and I'm going to again find 14 centimeters, which is okay. so it's to this little carrot here. Actually, sorry, I'm so like. I'm a little extra, like I said, with stuff like this. Okay, so it's the star. In between the star and the carrot. There we go. I feel like this is crooked, but we're gonna make it work because I'm trying not to get my head in the frame. All right. And then I'll cut here. So this section is going to look a little bit smaller, but when you take into account that you also will be doing this part, it, it matches, okay? I know I'm being a little extra, but it's fine. And then we'll do, oh, see, I almost did it. Who am I thinking I can teach people something? as well and then we have our fourth section which is a little under 14 but we're pretty close so now we have our first row sectioned using washi tape and when you're ready to diamond paint I'm not ready to start this kit yet I am still working on um, I choose you from diamond art club but when you're ready you'll take your knife and you'll cut along the washi and then you'll be able to peel the section up, use a cover minder and it'll be there. And then if you don't finish your section, you can re like replace the plastic. I feel like that was one of the things that was most appealing to me using the washi tape method because when I use release paper and I do my sections, I'm like, okay, I need to finish the section. I'm not putting this release paper back down. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's preference. I am using release papers on my current project, so I'm not fully transitioning to just washi tape. I do love my release papers and will continue to use them. 
I just think that this is a different fun way to kind of jazz up your diamond painting and make it a little more enjoyable, changing it up. And yeah, I find like for me personally, mixing things up every once in a while helps me enjoy what I'm doing even more. So picking the perfect washi and using it on more than just the border is fun to me, <laughs> which might sound silly, but it is. I think it's fun. I enjoy it. So I hope you found this video helpful in some way. Um, honestly, it took me longer than I'm proud of to understand how this worked. It just, it didn't click in my brain. It finally did. And I was like, okay, now I get it. This is fun. I like it. <laughs> but I hope that this was helpful. Um, let me know down below if you use release papers or this washi tape method. And I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!